a rebuttal to the perfect family, perfect Christmas letter. Merry Christmas from the thank goodness this year is finally over, family. We're out of here. Oh, and by the way, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a little behind, you know. Haven't got everything put up yet, but oh, you know, well, that's how we roll in this family. So, what can I tell you about our year? Well, let's see, where can I start? Mm, our oldest, uh, she's a senior, yeah, 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 and she, it's been kind of ugly, she got bit by that senior-itis bug, uh-huh, and has had the influenza with that for several months now, you know, and, and she inhibits, exhibits, inhibits certain behaviors that show a manifestation of this virus and evil, and things like, you know, wanting to live her own life, like to use quotation marks a lot, but she wants to live her own life, and she wants to do her own thing, and she wants us to get out of her space. But first, she needs $20 so she can put some gas in our car in order to go over to her friend's house. <sighs> yeah, it's just been a delightful year with that child. <laughs> And then there's our middle child. Oh, well, you know, he's still on academic sabbatical, but oh, 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 we're not freaking out or anything. No, 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 no. Won't have none of that because guess what? He's going to be in a band. Rock and roll. Yes. He's going to be in a band. So there's no worries at all whatsoever with this child. None. Nada. Yet. Mm, El Zippo. And then there's our youngest. Ah, oh, yes, the youngest. The one that maybe I should have had about a year and a half sooner, because if I had, well, anyway, I won't go down that road. But there's our youngest, who has somehow amassed more detentions in his first month of school than his siblings did in their entire school careers. And here's the thing. He's our third born. And as such, his father and I are really, quite honestly, we're just too tired to care much. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've set aside a little more money for his therapy. Yes, indeedy. So yeah, that's the kiddos. You know, it's been an interesting year. Um, we were going to go on vacation, but gosh, you know, that car of ours has 278,000 miles on it. So we made it down to the high V and picked up some Noosa yogurt, and I thought it was a pretty exciting trip myself. It didn't go over too well with the kids. So yeah, the vehicles, they're kind of kind of rough, and vacation became a staycation, became a I'm going to lose my mind-ation. <sighs> Let's see. Let me tell you a little bit about Rick. Yes, I'm still married to Rick. Still married. Yep. And he still watches inordinate amounts of television. More in particular, Andy Griffith. I don't quite understand that. I mean, it's not like I'm sitting on the edge of my seat saying, oh gosh, I wonder what's gonna happen to Barney this time. <sighs> but he loves it. Loves watching Andy, loves watching it. And he also likes to clip his toenails, his fingernails while he does it. And then he leaves them in a neat little pile right on the little coffee table right next to his chair. God bless him. <laughs> He also yells still when political pundits come up on the TV screen and pontificates and waves his finger, which makes me, forces me to leave the room and do what I do under pressure. I also do this when I'm happy. I do it when I'm sad. I do it when I'm content. I do it when there's no purpose at all. And that's finding my way into the kitchen and finding something yummy to eat. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, Merry Christmas, all about me, mm, I'm still not a size 2. Can you believe it? Come to think of it, I'm not a size 4 either. Or a size 6. You know what? Maybe, maybe, like I could split myself, and maybe this side is a size 6, and this side is a size 6, I'm a size 12 altogether! That's pretty exciting. So the, anyway, that's been our year. Yes, it has. And I just want to tell you, it's been quite a year. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas.